it's Michelle and today I'm going to be showing you a gift in a jar mix for Thanksgiving. This makes a really really good hostess gift if you're going to be a guest at Thanksgiving rather than the hostess. They're giving you the meal for the day and they're doing all the work. It's a really nice gesture to give them something in return. What we're going to be making is leftover turkey noodle soup mix. And for that we're going to be using a mixture of spices and some pasta as well as some freeze-dried vegetables. I really like including these. I like to make as many gift in a jar mixes as possible that don't really have to have a lot of ingredients added. Whenever possible I like for it to need only water added. But for this one the only thing that they're going to have to add is water and leftover turkey from the Thanksgiving dinner. So I think that makes for a really good day off for the hostess and, you know, one of the coming days after Thanksgiving, after they've worked so hard to create that huge meal. So the first thing we're going to do is make our spice mixture. And don't worry about this. At the end of the video, I will put all of the ingredients on screen. So the first thing in our spice mixture is going to be four and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon granules. Well, I said granules, but this I found in the powder. I wasn't able to find the granules this year, but it's the same thing. It's just a finer powder. The powder or the granules, either one will work for this. And then we're going to need one tablespoon of dried minced onion. And next we're going to need one teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. Also one teaspoon of black pepper. One quarter teaspoon of celery seed. one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and the last thing in our spice mixture is one quarter teaspoon of dried dill weed and now we'll just bring in our little whisk and mix all of our spices together and this mixture makes a delicious broth Okay, now we're just going to bring in our jar, and this is a one quart jar. It makes a large batch of soup. If you want, you can cut everything in half and make that in a pint jar for a smaller portion. But we're going to go ahead and make the larger batch. So we just put our funnel on top of there and just add in our spice mixture. And just give that a little shake to level it out. And the next thing we're going to add is our freeze-dried vegetables. I will put a link to these. I did get these online from a company called iHerb.com. So I'll put a link in the description. These I thought would be really good for the soup mixture. Let's see if I can zoom in where you all can see that there. It contains corn, peas, carrots, bell peppers, and tomatoes. So that's going to be really good in our soup. And we're going to add one cup of that. Okay, we'll kind of kind of level those out too. And then last, we'll finish filling up our jar with dry noodles. And I'm, I'm using the rotini noodles today. I prefer a pasta shape called Mafalda, which kind of looks like a miniature 
lasagna noodle. You can even use egg noodles if you prefer, but I'm not a fan of the egg noodles. Or anything you want, as long as it's sort of a short pasta so that it'll fit easily into our jar. So we're going to finish filling our jar with that. And for our one quart jar, that's going to be probably about two and a half cups of the dry pasta. Okay, so that completes our recipe, and now we just want to decorate it up a little bit. I'm going to set that aside a minute, and I'll show you all what I've done for the decorations. We're going to need our, our lid and band. And I've got some fall-colored plaid ribbon here that I just found at Walmart in the $1 bin. So that was $1 for the whole roll. And we're going to be using a piece of brown ribbon to tie on our tags. And I've printed off some tags that we're going to attach to that. One here that says leftover turkey noodle soup. I just printed these off on cardstock and then I cut that out with my, my scrapbooking scissors here in a decal pattern. I like to do that because if you're cutting something like a circle or something, if you cut it not so perfectly, it doesn't really show because that's meant to be a jagged edge anyway. And the reason I cut that in a circle was we're going to put that right on top of our lid and then put our band over top of that. So you've kind of got a label as the lid. And then I printed off some, some more here. You don't have to print these off. You can just make handwritten ones if you want. But we've got a series of tags here, so quite a lot going on with this one. And on these, after, I just kind of layered them. I cut out my shape, at which was not difficult to do. All I did was cut that out in a rectangle with my scissors. And then I used my little corner rounding punch here to finish out the corners for me. So we've got our For the Hostess tag on the front. And then we've got one here that I thought was, I just kind of came up with a really nice thing to say, you know, to present this to the hostess. I don't know if that's coming in clearly for you all. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for the meal that you invited me to take part in today. In return, let me provide a meal for you as well. Simply take this mix and add today's leftover turkey for a quick and delicious soup. So that way you're just kind of making a gesture to the host that you've given, you've given me a meal. Let me give one to you and give you a day off to kind of show your appreciation for the hard work they've put into Thanksgiving dinner for you. And then the one on the back is the instructions for them on how to make that. Which is to bring 12 cups of water to a bowl and then stir in the mix. And then all they have to do is reduce the heat, cover it, and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And add in their leftover turkey, which will be about 3 or 4 cups of cubed leftover turkey for this size of jar. They let that simmer for 5 more minutes and it is really a delicious soup with not a lot of work. So a really nice gesture to make for your hostess if you're attending as a guest this Thanksgiving. So we'll go ahead and put our lid on. With our little turkey soup. We'll kind of turn that to where it sits in the right direction for us. And then we're going to take our brown ribbon. This is an eighth inch wide ribbon. And we're just going to try to put it through all of those tags. So we'll just line up our holes. See if we can get it through all of them at once. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to come up about an inch or so and tie our knot there because we want to leave room for them to flip through these tags. We don't want to tie it really tightly down next to that. And then we're going to go ahead and put on our decorative ribbon. So we'll have something to tie our tags around at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and cut off probably about 24 inches of that. And just put that right around the neck. And before we tighten that knot there, let's go ahead and tie on our tags. And just kind of tie that in a loose knot and then we can go ahead and finish our bow we'll go ahead and make another knot around that first to hold everything in place and I'm using wired ribbon so that's going to help me get it in shape a lot better Whatever ribbon you've got is going to be fine. And then just trim your ends of your ribbon to get them even. There you have it. You're ready to give your hostess gift for Thanksgiving. This is one I think that always goes over very well. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on Facebook and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.